Hey guys, welcome back to JLake 3 d So today we're going to be working on a long-awaited project. As you can see at the top, it's the pool project. It's It's been requested a while back, but I've put it off for way too long. Uh, but here we are. So let's go ahead and start off by drawing a rectangle. This is going to be one of those fiberglass-style pools um, that you can basically buy and they get it delivered for you. So let's make it 24 feet long by 12 feet and zoom in so make sure actually i made that in inches let's go ahead and make that in feet so 24 by 12 feet if we can get that down okay once we have that the process for this pool is actually quite simple so we have this shape now and we extrude it depending on how um, how deep we want so in this case let's do six feet in depth but we also want to have a slight border from the top of the pool uh, so let's go ahead and do 6.5 feet total. Okay, and then once you have that, let's go ahead and double click that face there. And we want to decide how much, how many, how many feet we want on the deep end. So let's go ahead and do six feet there. And then let's draw three feet for the kiddos on this side and six feet across here as well. So they have some room to play. And then from the bottom to the top, let's make an incline sketch like so. And go ahead and select that face and extrude it all the way through so that we have now our pool. So we can delete that sketch, we don't need it anymore. And then what we can do is select these faces, use the chamfer and auto tool, and then deselect these two lines. We don't wanna do those just yet. And then just fill it, let's say by 0.25. All right, and then we wanna do the sides here the same way, 0.25. And there's a reason we're doing this first because once you shell it, it's gonna be a lot harder to do this, okay? But for this side of the pool, I wanna make it a little bit more interesting. Let's go ahead and make it, let's say three, three feet of a curve, okay? I think that's gonna be better looking this way. Now that we have that, let's go ahead and go to the shell. So tools, shell. And then uh, for the thickness, let's go ahead and make it 0.25. I think that's pretty accurate. Click done and we basically have a pool. What we can do now is uh, fill it the in inside edges as well. So you don't have to select everything, but you can select a couple things and then see if it does automatically for the rest. So 0.25 and it, the range of the bend, bend is too large. I think I overdid it there a little bit. Let's try isolating just a few at first. So 0.25 and then for the bottom, Let's go ahead and select a couple more edges here. It should fill up the front automatically if we get lucky. And there we go. So this gives us some rigidity and softness at the same time that we don't scratch your feet on this. And then for these two, we can do a little bit bigger because usually on those, they're slightly uh, less of a bend since it's a sharper angle. All right, once we have that, let's go ahead and improve our life by making the color a little bit better. So it looks more like a pool. Let's see, we want it more blue. There we go, something like so. And then go back to the modeling so that we can continue on. So basically we have our desired shape for the pool. And then we can actually go here now. Let's delete that sketch because it's gonna get in the way. So what you wanna do is select that face and then draw a line just for, for that specific edge there. So that's 0.25. And then from here, we want to draw our border. So let's go ahead and do um, 0.25 feet over there as well. And then 0.25 here. And let's make a border of 0.1 on each side. So I, I don't know the exact way these are actually done, but I'm just showing you kind of the process. So what we can do now is here, draw a, uh, an arc there. And the way to get this done is, first of all, we wanna move it here for the utmost accuracy. So click done, and then go to tools and sweep and select that sketch now, make sure it's closed and click next. And we can use that pull edge all the way around to create ourselves a border. So this is basically what goes on top of the concrete, right? So we can go all the way through now we have this edge. And obviously this is just an example. You could have used different shape or you can extend this as needed. If you select more, you can extend all of them. 
but yeah, this is basically how we get our edge. Now that we're done with that, uh, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the center, which is a good thing that we're here in the center, that way we can actually use the grid to our advantage. So if we click the front face on the top right square there and then turn on section view, we get to see our pool in, in the middle here. It's kind of like a cutoff. Let's go back to there. And then if we make a random sketch, a lot of uh, edges appear there, little points that we can use for a reference. So um, I'm not sure how the standard is for pool uh, stairs, uh, but I know in residentials, there's sometimes, um, there's like a height minimum of seven, or rather maximum of 7.5 and a depth of 10 inches. So let's go ahead and just use that and then you can do whatever you need for your project. So sometimes I find it easier just to sketch a couple out so it gives you time to think as you're working. So let's just go ahead and do that all the way down. And then the final step is a little bit shallower. Obviously you can adjust it and then making a measurement, if you draw a line across, then you can divide that into a certain amount of steps that you need. So like I said, I don't know the standard for pools, so this is basically gonna be on your project basis. So let's go ahead and close this sketch so we have something to extrude. And then let's make this uh, about 24 inches, which is two feet, and make sure it's a new body. And then turn off section view, and we can go ahead and extrude this out to 48 inches, which is four feet. I don't know, I think it's a good number. And what we can do here, is either soften these edges out or continue them all the way through, or we can tools, revolve, select this edge, and then use that edge line and make it round like so. And technically we can revolve it just a certain amount. So tools, revolve, select this on the edge, and we can do like, let's say 90 degrees, make it negative if you need to. And then just tools, subtract, from this body, this body, click done, and then delete that excess there. And then what we can do is just transform mirror, select this and use the center line there, uh, which is the X plane or X axis and then click done. And we have kind of a nice rounded off staircase. Then we click tools, union and select these and click done. And then we can match the color. If we go here, choose that default material change it to whatever we had before, and then go back to modeling. So after this, we need the rails for the pool, and we can go and do the same thing that we did for the steps, which is go to the front face, click section view, and then we find basically uh, our sketch again by just sketching randomly somewhere, so it kind of shows up, and we might have hit it or taken it off. But anyways, let's go ahead and just make a new one, 10 inches, and then here, let's go up by about three feet, which is 36 inches. And then we can do the same thing up here. Let's zoom in so it makes sure it's accurate. And let's go 36 inches. And then from these two, we can just draw a line across like so, and then outside of the pool, however much you need it. So let's just add that for the heck of it. And what we can do, uh, so I sketched that off center, obviously, as you can see, that's why the other one wasn't showing up. But let's go ahead and select it and then uh, exit sketch mode to move it over here to the center, which is about 70 inches or 69, let's see. That seems proper, okay, so 69 and it went on the same plane there. So let's double click that, yeah, it's on the same plane. So what we do now is uh, click the circle and s draw a sketch, let's make a, uh, um, let's make a two inch diameter pipe and then select the circle and exit sketch mode so it chooses the move tool and then we rotate that by 90 degrees and then from this point we just go and turn off section view and tools sweep we select that circle and click next and we can sweep that line right there so this basically makes uh, the pole that holds up the rails okay and what we can do now is either continue this across and uh, do that, or if we want it to be separate, we can just do tools sweep and only do the one. So let's select that circle, click next and do this one. And then go ahead and double click it and align it with that line right there and copy it over. So in this case by 38, I think. 
make sure you deselect the copy if you adjust it. And let's move it over by another half inch, it looks like. So it's gonna be 37.5 if you're doing it. And then, uh, like I said, we can go now and sweep the rest. So tools, sweep, select that circle now, and click that line and just continue it all the way across and actually that's a little bit slanted. So let's go ahead and hide these two and then sweep it. So tools, sweep, circle, click next, and then do these two and then click done. Then you can obviously merge everything by clicking union, but I want to actually adjust something here. Let's see, actually this is good. Let's go ahead and union these two and then this one as well so it just disappears for us there we go so this is basically the rails and we can go ahead and color this into a metal material for example steel which is here on the bottom somewhere in the metals Okay, and now we basically have our pool complete and all that's left is to fill it up with water and add all the pipes and perhaps heaters. So this is a good way for you to start your project and then design your own pool if you want to. Uh, so I hope you guys learned something. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below and I'll try to get to those. And I know some of my videos are a bit delayed just because uh, this is, I do mostly for fun. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Here at JLake 3 d our goal is to inspire and empower you to create your own amazing projects. Please support our work so that we can keep doing it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to see more.